Hello everyone and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe and today I'm going to be diving into a question that I think has been on a lot of people's minds over the last couple of weeks certainly, but even the last few months, potentially years, which is, is Taylor Swift and Billie Eilish, are they really beefing? This is a question that I think a lot of people have been asking, a lot of people have been wondering, and I thought this would be a great time to dive into the conversation, to analyze it, to look at it, and to ask the question. Now, before I get into all of it, I do think it is important for me to preface all of this and say that I clearly have a Taylor Swift YouTube channel. I love Taylor Swift but I am also a fan of Billie Eilish. I think she is incredibly talented. I think she is an amazing songwriter, an incredible artist. There is a reason why this woman has achieved so much success at such a young age. She has two Oscars for crying out loud. She is supremely talented. And I do not, I do not like this narrative of pitting two very successful, talented women against each other. And I'll get into that more as we get into all the conversation. But I wanna just remind people, I am simply asking the question. I am not choosing a side. And frankly, I don't really care, <laughs> which I'll get into a little bit more as we get into it. But let's start from the beginning. Okay, so there've been a lot of people that have felt like in the last few months, Billie Eilish has taken some very pointed shots at Taylor Swift. Now, I will leave that up to you to decide whether or not that's true or not. And I will, I will reveal all the moments that people feel like maybe Billy is taking some shots. On the other hand, you could say Taylor is retaliating in her own way. And maybe she is doing a little bit of stuff in the background um, as well to prevent Billy from having all the success that she could potentially have. So both people are definitely involved to some degree in this situation. Um, but let's let's start from the beginning, which is this battle for the number one spot on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. So Taylor Swift dropped her latest album, The Torture Poets Department, on April 19th. And since she's dropped that album, she has had the number one album on the Billboard Hot 100 charts since the release. Now, this makes sense for a lot of reasons. Number one, she's Taylor Swift. <laughs> Whenever she releases music, people pay attention, people care about it, people love it. Another reason why she's been able to keep that top spot for so long, she put out a double album. This album has over 30 songs. When you have an album that has that many songs, it makes sense, it boosts the album numbers, and it makes sense that it would stay at the top of the charts for as long as it has, okay? Um, now, she's also released a handful of variants and special releases and special versions of this album, particularly in recent weeks that just so happened to coincide with the release of Billie Eilish's album, Hit Me Hard and Soft. And there are a lot of Billie Eilish fans who feel like Taylor choosing to release these special versions right when Billy's album is coming out, is maybe trying to block Billy from reaching that number one spot on the charts. Now, Taylor did retain the number one spot on, on the charts. Billy's album was number two. So you could say if that was Taylor's intention to block Billy, it worked. Um, but this story started prior to all of the album releases. So a few months ago, a lot of Taylor Swift fans got upset because Billie Eilish's manager, Danny Rukasin, I think is how you say his last name, had apparently allegedly liked and retweeted, and then he actually ended up deleting it, a tweet implying that Taylor has this history of blocking other artists' paths to the top of the charts by strategically dropping her own releases uh, to prevent other people from having that top spot and that that success. Now, was it incredibly messy for Billie Eilish's manager to tweet or like or whatever, interact with a tweet that was so contentious? Yes. And I'm like, I feel like the number one rule <laughs> with like all artists and everything is just don't, don't poke the bear. Don't poke the bear. Don't get people upset 
for silly reasons, it's just gonna come back to bite you. And this was kind of like step one in getting a lot of Taylor Swift fans upset with Billie Eilish. Then we all remember, I think I covered it here on this very show in March, there was some quotes that had come out about Billie Eilish criticizing artists who put out like multiple version or multiple vinyl versions of their album um, in order again to like increase album sales and boost their numbers. And, um, and she basically was saying how it's really bad for the environment and it's just like not a smart thing to do. Prior to those or after those comments came out, Billy then came out and said like, I wasn't signaling anybody out in particular, though it was hard for people to not make the connection between those comments and the fact that Taylor is an artist who's very well known for putting out multiple versions of her vinyls and having these different special vinyls and all that kind of stuff. So that was like kind of an, another little thing that made people think, huh, does, is Billy, does she have it out for Taylor? Maybe, maybe not. Um, then more recently, and I think again, I discussed this on the show here, Billy went after artists who, uh, I, I don't know if she went after them, but she basically was talking about how she doesn't understand artists who do three hour long concerts. This is her actual quote about the three hour concerts. I'm not doing a three hour show. That's literally psychotic. Nobody wants that. I don't want that. I don't even want that as a fan. My favorite artists in the world, I'm not trying to hear them for three hours. Again, I said this when we talked about it initially, Taylor is not the only artist to perform for over three hours. Lots of artists have done it over the past and in their, in their career, but Taylor is probably the most famous artist right now who is performing a three plus hour show. Um, and so again, it was another comment that just felt a little bit Pointed. So those are kind of all of the different things that have happened over the last handful of months. Again, Taylor re-releasing or putting out new versions of TTPD around Billy's release also felt very pointed. You could say it was just a coincidence, but it's hard to think it was a coincidence. I don't know. Again, I will let you all be the judge on that. But here is where I stand with all of this, which is to say, and again, I want to reiterate, I like Billy and I like Taylor Swift. Obviously both are so talented. And I, I hate this narrative that gets brought up constantly about especially two very successful women in the industry and constantly pitting them against each other and constantly looking and waiting for someone to say something that, that we as the media or people that talk about these artists could then say, oh, well, she's talking about Taylor or, oh, Taylor's talking about Billy. We, we're just constantly waiting for those like sound bites and those little things that we can grab and then create this, this bigger, larger narrative of these two people hating each other or feuding or being out to get each other or whatever. I also want to say it's kind of okay for artists to like have competition and to have rivalry. And I don't think we always, I don't think we need every single artist. We, we, we see it a lot in like the hip hop rap space. I mean, they will have like legitimate feuds, outspoken public feuds with each other. And people love that. But then if like two women are competitive with each other or frankly just don't like each other for whatever reason we make it this huge big story it's okay for people to not like each other <laughs> and it's okay for billy to have issues with taylor and for taylor to have issues with billy like it's it's okay i i think personally and and again i'm saying this as a, as a person that has a taylor swift channel like taylor swift is incredibly successful she is a billionaire she is touring the world playing out sold out stadiums like has all this success, breaking records left and right. She doesn't need me or Swifties or anybody else to be fighting her battles for her in the comments section of Instagram posts or to be fighting Twitter wars for her online. Like, it's okay. She'll figure it out and she'll deal with it however she feels she best needs to deal with it. But the fans that constantly get involved and are constantly bickering with each other, it does no one any good, in my opinion. Again, this is all my own opinion. So I feel like whether or not they're feuding, it doesn't really matter <laughs> to me ultimately because they're both so successful and I'm just gonna let them live their life and we will see what unfolds. But the, the conversation and honestly, the bigger picture of like the fans constantly fighting and fighting Taylor's battles, fighting Billy's battles. It just, I don't like it personally. And I feel 
like it's reductive and it just it kind of makes me sad ultimately at the end of the day so anyway those are my thoughts on this potential supposed billy taylor feud would love to know what you guys think in the comment section and remember to be respectful if you are commenting something that is rude or insensitive or mean don't comment it like again this is all for fun this is all fun this is not that serious it's not that deep and i think we can all have respectful kind um thoughtful conversations with each other in the comments so just remember that. So that's that for today's show. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, it would mean so much to us if you did subscribe. Again, if you love Taylor Swift, if you want to stay up to date on all Taylor Swift news, make sure to subscribe to the channel, follow us on social media, and we will see you guys next time. Bye!